Hello and welcome to another Ruby Reaction uh, episode 4 uh, I've just finished doing the The Huntsman World of Remnant uh, Hello and welcome to another Ruby Reaction episode 4 Lessons Learned um, I've no idea what this one's going to be about The last episode I did was um, a winter coming and the big fight between winter and uncle crow um winter just makes wife seem like a, a warm and caring person she's so cold and then we had the world of remnant special about hunters and they mentioned the atlas was a defunct kingdom and it was run more like a, a military academy now and there was also that continent that didn't get named and doesn't have an academy on it so I'm curious of what goes on there but apart from that yeah uh, we're gonna get on with this and see, see what occurs um, I'm assuming the vital tournament isn't over yet uh, we've had a lot of mix-ups. Oh, yeah, and we found out what that Trojan was that Cinder had put in the computer system And it's allowing them to basically override the uh, The signal uh, the beacon Computers It's basically allowing them to hack the computers of beacon and influence the games in ways that benefit them but I still don't know who their fourth team member is I'm not even entirely sure how they became a team and if they are a team then it's got to be the first one with a vowel in it because all, all the teams Coffee and Juniper and Cardinal and Ruby they've, there's no vowels but they're all based on their the teammates names and they've got emerald in their name so it'd be sort of like c e mercury m and i don't know who the fourth team member is anyway let's uh, move on to episode four and see if we can learn anything okay then we're still in the tournaments good I think this whole volume is going to be about tournaments. Oh, four parts to it now. I'll try not to get blood on it. Uh, I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. Three, two, What's his name again? Begin. Coco's... Co yeah, Yashimoti or something. Fashionista Ballista. Whoa. He's good. He's fast, of course. The hell is a break dancer? It's like Capoella. But with magic. Nice. Yeah, I know it's not magic, but you know what I mean. Coco! Hmm? 
Oh, ouch! That's gonna hurt your health. <gasps> I take it back. I don't like her. <laughs> Wow, she can camouflage herself quite well. Watch out, she's in the trees. And with that final blow, Yatsuhashi is eliminated. Huh? What? How did that happen? Damn. She's fast. Oh wow, they got eliminated. And with an amazing upset, Emerald and Mercury are victorious. Uh, Cuckoo. Mm, people don't like that. She just sort of came out of nowhere. face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... Summoning? No, I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried. It's just... It's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shnees are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the stronger it will become. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible... Whoa! She's... truly grow. The Schnees can do that? Wow. <laughs> You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby! Annihilation! <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, don't ever call me old. My turn. <laughs> now, where was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Right, right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs, even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. And that's when it happened. A dive. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. Huh? <laughs> you are the worst! <laughs> <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Ozpin? Ah, uh, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Psst. Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally say Vale while you were gone. Funny, because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. <laughs> almost managed. But they don't give out medals for 
almost. Thank you, and there's house silver. Well, we helped. Ha 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 up an iron on ship, and crimes went down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting. <laughs> that is so very true. Thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in the kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. <laughs> dropped since Roman got nabbed. It stopped completely. No white fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a king Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back Stark. that up. But I'll Summer. save those for when you're older. Anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch well, of Well, Summer and Crow. So it would be the T and the Look. Oh. Just remember that you've still got a long way to go. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Excellent form. Now think to your fallen foes, the ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were and become who you are now. Think of them and watch as they come to your side. I can't. Stop doubting yourself. <laughs> If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. Ooh. I don't need his charity. But you do need his money, don't you? What? How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. Spent all her money. Not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! Well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. <laughs> Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. She good? No. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. It's time for me to go. Or maybe do both. Maybe call your dad, have a chat to him, and not ask him for his money. It was really good to see you. Until next time, sister. Oh, maybe winter isn't so bad. Slightly different variation of the mirror mirror theme. Maybe that's winter's variation. Interesting. And again, over too soon. Oh. Right, a little bit of research. Um, Yatsuhashi, uh, Daiki, or DK. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his first name. Um, I'm assuming it's the other way around, I don't know. Uh, Yatsuhashi seems to be some sort of cinnamon sweet, Japanese cinnamon sweet. 
so I'm assuming cinnamon is the colour related sort of reference there because I couldn't figure out the other part of his name what that meant it just seemed to be a very popular name among Japanese sportsmen uh, and that's as, as much as I dare to look because otherwise I'll end up getting redirected to some sort of spoilers for the show um, you know how search engines work so that was as far as I delved into that name um, interesting character not entirely sure how he got knocked out of the tournament that seemed to be very sudden it's only to do with Mercury Mercury and Emerald seem to be very very fast everyone seems to be very very fast in this but I, I was imagining that Mercury would have something to do with his speed being his semblance but then I saw him break dancing and kind of creating I don't know force charge things I don't know I can't manage to guess what his semblance is um, I think that's something I'm just gonna have to work on as I go along this series yeah another outstanding episode loved the scene with Weiss and Winter um, Weiss is kind of growing on me now she wasn't my favorite character to start with far from it but now a little bit I can see a little bit of the the inner turmoil she goes through with that mirror mirror theme playing in the background at certain emotional levels during certain emotional scenes with Weiss kind of I don't know strengthens and strengthens the memory that she is a, a very lonely character not really sure of herself um, all the trappings of richness and isolation in her upbringing has led to her not being socially adept and sometimes we need to be reminded of these things anyway uh, I think I've rambled on enough here um, I will see you in the next episode episode 5 whatever that's called until then keep well and I'll catch you later bye bye